All right, so this is our seventh year running. Um, biggest and best one coming up, uh, 23rd of March, down at the Cloud, and um, we've increased the range of beers by 40%, so we've got over 130 beers available this year. From when the beer festival started, there was kind of the start of the craft beer rise in New Zealand. So, um, you know, since then, there's some great stories uh, behind some of these breweries, some great businessmen, and they've really developed it well, along with the media, um, encouraging people to try new things, and then having the beer festival kind of facilitating that, bringing the people to the beer, making the beers available. Um, yeah, it's all worked really well, so craft beer is definitely taking over. Um, more and more in the supermarkets we've seen craft beer taking over shelf, shelf space, which is just, yeah, fantastic for New Zealand. For us, uh, again, it started um, by just trying to facilitate the relationship between the general public who are used to your standard kind of dull beers and we, we had a passion for craft beer so you know we wanted to facilitate it somehow we were in events we knew about events so that was kind of the way we wanted to bring it together and that's our yeah, that's our passion i'm very excited it's a, it's a great gathering of a huge amount of wealth and knowledge in the beer scene and a good chance for the general public to really get involved in that scene as well so yeah it's exciting for everyone um it's just i mean it's always suited our culture we have that, you know that classic barbecue culture we enjoy being in the sun and, and beer you know at its purest roots is a nice thing to just wind down in the sun with but now you're also seeing kiwis come out of that and, and drinking you know just normal easy profitable beers and they really start to experiment you know, they're getting into all sorts of big, heavier, darker styles, more hoppy sort of IPAs, um, and all sorts of crazy stuff in between. So the US is getting bigger, and the US is, it's funny, you speak to a lot of people, and, and they're like, oh yeah, the US beer scene's going amazing at the moment, and people are like, what? It's Budweiser and Coors and Miller Draft, but it's not, they're, they're producing the best styles, like the west coast of uh, all down California, Oregon, everywhere, they're all making some of the best IPAs in the world, and it's also spreads right across the midsection and down the east coast as well and they're just you know that's just showing everyone up at the moment but also giving a really strong body of, of sort of resources for the rest of the guys to follow up and some of those guys are starting to produce guys angles are starting to do some really fantastic beers that are matching their quality and sometimes including it so it's, it's really fantastic yeah, well i don't know if beat but we're we're able to play in the same court um just because you know beer is such a personal thing like everyone tastes something differently but it's a certain level where even a style of someone might not like they can still respect so in that terms yeah we can and, and we've got the right ethos for it we we like to tinker around in our garages and we like to experiment and we like to try to do crazy things and we like to have sort of competitions between our mates and, and that at the moment we're going through a really good resurgence where people were coming out of um out of their garage and starting to get really professional about it all and that's yeah it's, it's lifting a lot this is a very exciting time as well i'm extremely excited this year we've actually got our two bars because we uh, really enjoyed it last year and we just couldn't keep up with the demand why do i love beer um i just love the aromas and the flavors that you can get out of it i think that uh, after living in california um, several years ago i sort of discovered that beer could have flavor like wine but on returning to New Zealand, it just wasn't there and I thought, well, I really love brewing and got into brewing and I only got into it because I knew what beer could taste like and I think if I didn't do that, I would have become a wine drinker because the wine in New Zealand has such amazing flavours and aromas and I think that's why people drink wine, but, but beer's like that now. Beer can have amazing intense aromas and flavours just like wine, it can be as awesome as wine and sometimes a lot more awesome because you've got more ingredients to work with other than just a grape you've got hops and you've got malt but you can also add other things to beer to make it even more awesome